Hello and welcome to the highlights of match 26 of the HBL PSL. The big encounter, the arch rivalry of Karachi versus Lahore. Big game for Karachi as they need to win this to stay alive in the tournament. Quick look at the points table, Multan Sultan and Peshawar Zalmi already qualified whereas the fight for the remaining two positions stays with Islamabad, Quetta and Karachi. The toss was won by Shan Masood and he decided they'll have a ball first. Lahore Kalandas making two changes in the side, Abdullah Shafiq comes right up in the order and Tahir Beg also gets a go in the 11. Karachi Kings also coming up with their changes, Anwar Ali and Arafat Minhas into the side. Let's join the action as the two openers from Lahore Kalandas come out to bat. And we're about ready to rock and roll here with the first one. So spin to start. This will be fascinating too. You think about the uh, fuckers of man, the other end, and that, that small boundary. Oh, just watch that drift. But uh, lovely hands to uh, pick up the first boundary from Fucker. A bit of extra pace, Malik, on that. Just the width. Had the line right to the right hand up, but on this occasion, it's a little bit of width outside the off stump. Yeah, just there, playing it very late. All the pace from Shoaib Malik I'm being used. So off with the boundary. And time for the old boy, Anwar Ali. Greetings to you this evening back on the side, Anwar Ali. His first one disappears nice and straight. This format of the game, spin bowls one over, take him off, pace back on the ball. I think both batters would prefer speed on the ball, but this is a beautiful straight drive. Big side. Enough, enough. Nosey. Biggest part of the ground. It's the first one down here. A very, very smart catch in the deep. To make sure he takes this clean. He never drops many. And hasn't dropped any so far as well. Nicely pouched, got under it. And had his eyes on the ball throughout. Anwar Ali, he's got first blood for Lahore Kalandas. It's Tahir Beg who walks back for four. Or 16 for one. A little bit of bottom hand. Nice and clean. Oh, I think it's a maxi, is it? On the cushion, on the full, we're going to just check it and ask. Finds the Lafridi, I reckon, are they? First six of the night as well. Richard Lingworth signals. Oh, please. Impish and cheeky, love it. Uses the pace. Beautiful timing out of the middle. Yeah, both shots from Fakhar. Very aware of where the fielders were. The first one as well came down, dancing down. Hit hard. Whenever he comes down the pitch, he hits it so hard, it doesn't give much chance to any fielder to stop. Oh, he's got all of that. The sound of bat on ball. Smashed. You think this hit on the other side even would have stayed in? No. Zero chance. Intention was to clear the boundary. Good swing of the bat. 86 meters. And the other side is what? 73 meters? No chance. 87 meters. I beg your pardon. This time, Abdullah Shafiq comes down the wicket and plays it straight. Nothing comes in way, and that also brings the 50 partnership between the two. To get to 170, 180, they need to keep doing that. Get those big overs in. 13 of the over, so far, still two deliveries remaining. Oh, he's got bat on it. Could have been extra, but why not? get a boundary if you can even Muzarabani cannot cut that off 
first 50 for Fakhar Zaman in this season HBL PSL in 19th overall. Starts off with a poor one down the leg side, helps on his way. Shafiq with a boundary. Again into the onside, again the call for two. This time Niazi races in, a direct hit again. This time has he done it? This is magnificent. Twice in a row. That is absolutely brilliant fielding. Keep rolling. And the batter shoulder the trees. And the wicket light up. I'm ready to make my decision for the B screen. Well, extraordinary from Niazi. And what a huge wicket. What a scalp. Fucker Zaman. Looking as dangerous as he has been. 54 of 35. Lahore 86 to 2. You get to the fence like that. Over extra cover. He's nailed that. Magnificent. Brings up the 100 as well. Bit of flight. Gets it out of the middle. Great way to start. Lovely shot through the offside. Glorious cover drive. That is high class. And then common sense starts prevailing when you can't make it to the playoffs. What a shot. 70 of 48, the partnership between him and Fakhar Zaman. Why would you try to fix something that's not broken? Oh, that's interesting. It's just a top edge that has gone down to third. Tried the ramp, but it worked out. Same, same, but different. Doesn't matter how it gets there, as long as it gets there. Walk across his stumps. Oh, geez, if he's meant that, that is an unbelievable stroke. Got to give a name to, to that <laughs> shot. <laughs> But a bit of air and he's gone leg side, chance in the deep and accepted, that's a good catch, Shoaib Malik. Again looking to go that big boundary, Pope doesn't get it out of the middle. Yeah, wanted to clear mid-wicket, didn't get all of it, that's why the chance arose. Good bowling, slowed it up and made him hit to the big side and that is a Good wicket to get at this stage. Next spinner Zahid gets rid of Shea Hope for nine. It's 119 for three. Again, keeps it way outside of stump, and this time around, he just hit straight to Pollard. Pollard accepts. Shine Shah Freedy. Promotion up the order. Doesn't work. Went flat and hard. Straight to him at long on. But again, big hands, very good field, takes it comfortably. Nice height, hangs onto it beautifully. Shine Shah Freedy out for one, it's 122 for four. Very smooth and easy on the eye. Take four more, Dullah. Oh, don't get in there. Hang on! We've got another one! Bit of a bonus, you'd have to say, Amar Ali, with a safe pair of hands. Another one falls for the Kalandas. Idea was right, thinking was right, but the execution wasn't. He wanted to go a little finer, got too much bat on the ball, and hit it straight to the man. Apart from uh, one drop catch, catching's been excellent, good fielding, Good energy in the field from Karachi Kings. The Shafiq played a magnificent knock of 55. Gone now, it's 131 for five. So good in this region. Oh, wow. Woohoo. Stayed really still and, and, and tonked it beautifully over that cover region. That's smart batting. wrist work that'll race away for back-to-back -back boundaries here from Sekinder Raza 
More maximum recharges. Oh, hang on, we're recharging this one. 150 up in style with a cut of notes. Raza. Yes, the milestone breached with this outstanding stroke. Yeah, he was getting a little rusty being on the bench, not really getting enough uh, opportunity. And this time around, he's, he's enjoying himself. 66 meters uh, toward the offside, wrong length, wrong line. Goes Yorker. And got smoked for his troubles. Here's a sixer of the very first ball of the last one. What a magnificent hit. Oh, Mr. Yorker again. Fetch this. It's six more. The visa. Not bad. Not bad at all. And you don't use a surface. And with the long levers in play, it was always traveling, no matter how short or big the boundary. Oh, yeah, went to the wide Yorker. He feels he's missed out, but he. Credit to the bowler, he's got it in the right area there. Wide York had to fetch and reach. So the last three overs have gone for 44. The Colunders have managed to get to 177 for five. So at the end of 20 overs, it was a good fight put up by the Lahore Kalandas, especially with Fakhar Zaman and Abdullah Shafiq's partnership of 70 runs of just 48 deliveries. They managed to put up 177 for five Lahore Kalandas with a quick fire 22 from Raza and 24 from Visa to help them get to that mark. Karachi Kings bowlers bowled well in the power play but then went for runs in those mid-overs. Two for 27 for Zahid Mahmood, a wicket each for Muzarabani and Anwar Ali. As the maximum the bowlers could dismiss. So the target 178 to win and the 120 balls available. Let's find out if Karachi can stay alive in the tournament. Well, one thing's for sure, when you've got the ball with Shine Shafidi, you know it's coming straight. He'll be looking for that shape into the right-hander. James wins here to face up against Shaheen. Yeah, just a hint of shape as well. Starts off by being spanked to the boundary. Welcome to the crease, Essen, says Vince. Yes, please, says James Vince. It was in the arc and it travels the distance. Uh, Vince is trying to hit him himself out of form by getting these big ones in. This is smart batting, left arm orthodox. Angles in, no real spin. So going over mid on, safe shot. Oh, brilliant. That is a brilliant strike from James Vince and he's raced to 21. The right plan. The length's there. He wants to get up and under. It doesn't matter. Tim Seifert decides to join the party. Who's full and is put away. And Shine Shafidi goes for 11. Karachi 30 for no loss. Not anymore. In the block hole, heard up in length and got the treatment. Wins only dealing in boundaries. Does bowl that back of the hand, slow one pretty well, but this time just missed his length. Wins is sweating on that. He's sweating on anything full to hit down the ground. And that is short and that has been hammered through the offside. Just stood up and thrashed it away. Cracking from the Kiwi. Timmy Seifert carved it away for four. Slinging action of uh, Zamir. Yeah, knew it straight away. Said, hit me, please. Oh. And it's taken. Tayyip with the wicket and a huge one at that. Vince has nicked one to the keeper. Yeah, what a moment for a youngster. And Lahore Kalandar plays are all over him and why not he deserves that
bringing in the false shot. Hard to pick if you've not faced him before. And uh, a little Nick, Shai Hope, doing the job. Nice, <laughs> nice. That's something new. Big wicket. Wins gone for 42, is 59 for one. Was that required or not? But it has worked. Whenever you get a connection while playing a shot like that, it looks amazing. When you don't, you have a lot of problems. Just allowing the ball to come on, using the pace. As he just has to get it over that man at 45. Slow, unattempted, and it's gone all wrong. Sean Masood picked it up early and gets a boundary. That's beautiful batting. Again, the ball before sets this up. Gone through, hits off stump, rewarded straight away. Yeah, Sikandar Raza this time quicker through the air, dotted in into the angle. A bit of a loose shot from Sean Masood, missed the line of it completely. He's lost his balance in doing so, trying to hit it too hard, you'd reckon. Skandar Raza in the background, well, he's delighted. And it's because he's picked up the opposition skipper for 24 tonight. Shan Masood Karachi now 99 for two. Well, they're all gone up, but the umpire doesn't seem interested. What Hope wants us to go upstairs. What does the captain feel? Shahin has, yes, taken the review. Keep rolling. Go frame by frame, please. Roll forward, roll forward. And you can freeze here. Uh, it's a spikes when ball next to the bat. I'm satisfied there's a bat involved, both on field and pie. Eli, I recommend you change your original data to C and to out. I'll let you know when you're on screen. Now you're seeing where your signal, yeah? Thank you. Big moment in the game. Big wicket that for Lahore Kalandas. And second strike for the young man. It gets rid of Karen Polar. The whole scenario changes now. Karachi Kings, 107 for three with that wicket. Yeah, he's asking his field. He's got a finger to it. Tim Seifert is in trouble. Let's have a look at this again. Clearly, the finger touches the ball and then it hits the non strikers. And the Seifert, from what we saw, was inside. Now, what's happening at the other end? It's what happens now. House. Oh, can't set a field for those. Very needed for the home side last 30 deliveries and searching for boundaries the pitch is dying a little bit and it's hard to play big strokes and the tall man is causing all sorts of issues oh, and a bit of wrist work that is Niazi to the hill we've seen it and he's shown off his repertoire and skill in terms of getting the ball in that area. 16 done, and the Kings now, 133 for four. They're trying to do something here in the middle. Niazi showing the full range. It was a little cutter. Look how he played that shot. Played very late, allowed the ball to spin or move away from him and then just a little dab so exactly like that that is a brilliant shot pace or not that is fantastic batting Niazi with a ram shot of outer class big ball straight but this time yeah a little deft touch nicely ramped it away for four and again the retort from the bow is the same. Left arm round gets the treatment. 15 off the 17th, and the Kings, 148 for four now. Big chant going up. Beautiful. 
clean. The last two balls go for eight. The over goes for 13. Kings now 161 for four. Lovely bit of timing. And the uh, misses is marked as Zamir. Yeah. Captain, maybe a little too late. You just never know, though, in T20. And it's the man set and going. Niazi loses his middle one. And that special over, Baz, you were talking about. This might be the one. He's got one. Can he just get a couple more here? Things are looking quite easy. But losing this wickets can be a little dicey. 165 for five. Oh, he went length. And he got pumped. Oh, stunner. What a great shot from a great player. Nine off and a wicket. 170 for five here. Not given out. And then Malik just uh, hitting it nice and straight with full plate. Hit hard, one bounce into the boundary. What an important boundary in the context of the game. They needed that. That was desperation from Malik. Oh, slower one. Catch it! There, taken! There's more drama going on here at the Karachi National Bank Stadium. He's also a slow one specialist. Slow one, and he didn't know anything about it. Unwarily just chipped it up in the air. Anwar Ali out for one and Karachi Kings now require eight or five. Oh, about. Got to go two. Got to hustle. Come on! Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, pressure telling. And look at the Columbus fans here in the stands. Yeah, the first call is cool. Malik runs on. Arafat Minas is coming back, but Troy Malik realizes he's never going to make it. Fails on him. Throw comes to the right end, though. Seventh down, 172. 16 off three. Here we go. Fielders, on your marks. <laughs> with 27 not out and they do it off the last ball to the Karachi Kings here at home. Well, Vince started it all off with 42 of 27. It looked all plain sailing and then a few wickets fell. But Niazi with 35 of 16 swung the game back to Karachi Kings and then at the very last delivery, Shwe Malik hits it to the fence, 27 of 17. And to be able to keep his head on the final delivery and be able to hit one from outside the off stump through point. They were a little expensive uh, up front with the new ball. Uh, 58 was scored in the power play. Once again, Shaheen, uh, 37. That's quite expensive for his uh, one wicket. Uh, wicket for Zaman and uh, bowled at tough times. Taya was definitely a pick of the bowler uh, for Lahore Kalandas who picked up uh, two for 23. Raza picking up one. Yes, not quite. They couldn't quite defend their 177 for five. The Lahore Kalunders it was tight because it came down to a last ball finish. With the uh, Karachi Kings getting uh, to that target. Seven down off the last ball. They win by three wickets. Thank you, Mr. Niazi. So, the Multan Sultans and the Peshawar Zalmi have qualified. So that helps. They still stay in fifth there, but uh, certainly they've got two more points. And of course, they've got another game to play very soon. So they're still in the hunt. They're still alive.